everyone, it's Julia. Today I'm back with a journal that I made and I'm gonna do a little flip through. I had a gal order, custom order a journal and it's almost easier for me to make more than one. They're so time consuming that I, I can just get more than one made, I'll do it. And so this is the one that I, I sent hers off to her and this is the one that's going in, going in my shop. My journals are made using white denim that I paint. And I used the color burst on this. I did recently a video on color burst on fabric, and I'll link that up on top so you can kind of see how I do that. Um, it just is a nice, it's just a, the, the denim works just beautifully on a journal cover. It's substantial or feels really nice. I do have it all finished off, so there's no raw edges. I use the elastic closure, and on the inside, I put a cardstock and then in between there's a cardstock also so it has a nice weight to it. I decorate the front with a tag that has been sewn on with laces and a little bit of a fabric collage and then of course I add a lot of my free motion stitching on the on the book cover itself. Well, first of all it measures five and a half by eight and a half and there's two signatures in it with the elastic and how I like to do my journals is I don't I don't bind it I just slide it the pages underneath the elastic so it's easy for you to take those pages out to move them around to paint on them or stamp on them or do whatever you want to do with them you can take them to the sewing machine and sew on them and then you can slide them back in in the order or the area where you what you want also another thing nice thing is you can add to it you can take out if when, once this journal is complete you can completely just store it and you can get all new pages also the traveler's notebook size would fit in this so a little bit about it I, there's 28 pages so 56 front and back many of the pages are coffee stained or coffee dyed I do have nine plus tags in here there a lot of the tags I do have a little bit of stamping on or a little bit of decoration on but it's something that you can easily journal on also and the back too is left for you to journal on a lot of little tuck spots where you can just stick your little things in um, another another tag with a piece of lace uh, I've got watercolor paper these are a lot of these are just from my jelly print or jelly press when I'm taking up paint or whatever and they're just so colorful and again an awesome place for you to put a photo or you can journal or do add to it however you want interactive little places this is like a, a just a little a little baggie here with a, a little tag that I have done my own little fabric collage on but again the back is so that you can you can do your own journaling on it uh, here's a, one of my fabric or one of my um, watercolor flowers just to add a little bit of a, a detail to the page but I wanted to talk about the paper clips I have I have two of these paper clips in here and I have a, just a lot of fiber and ribbon on these and these are meant for you to be able to take them apart and use that for adding to your pages or doing whatever you want with it. Um, again tuck spots and places little journaling tags in here. And another little tuck spot with a tag another little tag just kind of going through here another one of the jelly prints this is a piece of really old journal paper absolutely love it I love the fact that it has 279 on it the page numbers and lace pocket there's three of these little envelopes made out of a gel a deli deli paper that I have jelly printed but they're they have a little tag on the inside so those are scattered throughout the, the book. The other t the other uh, paper clip with all the fibers. Another one of those little envelopes and another tag. And again, envelope tag. Another tag. And that is it. 
It just folds up so nice and the elastic goes around it. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll be getting it listed on my Etsy shop later on today and the link is, is in, the, in the description. So I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for joining me and happy creating. Bye for now.